Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I, I love the testimony of Tom Brady the other night on 60 Minutes. They were interviewing a guy that I really admire, and uh, at least from a distance. And here's this quarterback that's come from nothing. He was brought into the draft in the NFL at number 199, sixth draft. And uh, he he takes over because Bledsoe gets knocked out and and he steps into the New England Patriots and he not only wins a game, he takes them the Super Bowl. Not one Super Bowl, but three Super Bowls in four years. And so the interviewer says, don't you ever feel like saying to your, to the Chiefs of the Patriots, hey, I told you so. He said, why would I want to be a jerk? Isn't that a great answer? I mean, one out of every 3,000 pro, pro players say things like that. Amazing. Why would I want to be a jerk? And then he added, that's not for me to say. That's for somebody else to say about me. When are we going to learn? It's not about you. It's not about me. This is the unfolding of the plan. When we get on stream with that, it, it is remarkable what that does to us. High on a hill in southern France, there's a square marble building built by the Third Reich. It was built for the purpose of Nazi propaganda, Hitler's dream. It was built in such a place that the message would be beamed down the hill over Monte Carlo and into the Mediterranean, down through North Africa, southern part of Europe, and over into the Middle East. It was perfectly set up. The problem is the Third Reich fell before the Nazis ever occupied the building. Is that great or what? And, and Hitler's already, you know, what's he thinking now? Well, he's burning right now, so he doesn't think a lot. But, I mean, imagine, he's thinking, this is going to be our propaganda headquarters. It's not the propaganda. You know who took over the building? Trans World Radio. Trans World Radio. And for 50-plus years, they've been telling people, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Believe in Christ, trust Him, and the gospel message is going all across northern Africa, the Mediterranean islands, into, the, into Europe and a part of the Middle East, and including our little program, Insight for Living. <laughs> I mean, in the middle of all this plan is this, and they, had, they, they built it, German technology. Ooh, perfect. Get out of the way. God's plan was Trans World Radio. You're going to broadcast the message. That's where it leads. You think you've got your all plans all put together. This is why you're going to have this. This is why you're going to do this. You don't know. January 1956, five men. Jim Elliott, Ed McCauley, Pete Fleming, Roger Yodarian, Nate Saint, determined in their hearts to reach the savage tribe of the Aucas in Ecuador. Laid all the plans, put the arrangement all together, flew in, landed at Shelmera, got right on the shore of the Kure Rai River, and began to make contact. <laughs> Suddenly there's silence, and the wives waited for an answer, and all five were martyred. It made the headlines. All kinds of wrong kind of editorials were written about how foolish for these men to give their lives for these savages. I mean, what a waste. What a, you, by the way, you never read that from the story written by the widows. The book has impacted thousands of lives, including mine. When I was drifting far away from the plan that God had through Gates of Splendor, won my heart. I've told Elizabeth this. I've met the widows. They said, you have no idea the thousands of people in ministry today because our husbands died. Just when you think you've got all your plans laid out and everything put together, something happens to change those plans. It's a reminder that none of us knows what the future holds. There is a bigger plan unfolding, God's plan. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, God's Sovereignty in Daniel 4, 
was copyrighted in 2005, and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.